Hey everyone, and welcome back to Shovel Knight with Spiral Sigil. Alright, let's take on the Polar Knight. Because, you know, Canadian Let's Play. This, a snow stage was bound to happen eventually. Just sure there's some kind of law about that. Ah, bomb. Alright, so Polar Knight's age is just filled with the old, good old, like the old NES styled ice mechanics. So you'll stop moving a couple seconds after you meant to stop moving. But overall, it's not actually too bad. I don't really have too many problems with this stage. Like, I didn't really have too many instances where I just died stupidly. So, I'm not really that concerned about this place. There's, um, there's a couple of weird mechanics to it, but overall, nothing that's really too life-threatening. Oops, you fell. And, yeah. Bye! That said, there is a lot of opportunities to miss treasure here. Bounce back. Give a fuck. You, sir, are also a fuck. Oh, right. I need to use that fat fuck to get those gems up there. Guess I'm not getting those now. Oh, well, I'm not that concerned about it. Like, a couple of gems is nothing compared to most of the stuff you have to do in this, yeah. And, uh, I can get one of them anyway. There we go. Right. Yeah. Okay, good. Lots of bombs in this stage, too. I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't really see bombs fitting in with the whole snow theme they throw in at you, so... I don't know. Weird design decision is weird, I guess. There's the new kind of knight. Or, not Knight Mage. If he was a knight, he'd be a boss. Come on, let me cross. Like in um, most of the older Mega Man or Mario games that had an ice kind of mechanic to them. Uh, to stop immediately, just jump. It just seems to work every bloody time. Bouncing off of these guys doesn't actually hurt them, you actually just have to stab them. With your shovel. Oh god, I... This mechanic weirds me out. You have to jump into these clumps of snow to get them to fall on the spikes. And it makes them safe to walk on. Snow's not that thick. And also, it's like a pixel's difference between you and the life... Like, the instant life-ending spikes. So, I don't know. I'm not quite sure how we're expected to trust this. You know, I know the Flare Wand has, like, an achievement attached to it, too, which is kill an enemy from, I don't know, 25 yards or 25 miles or something. Well, probably not miles, but either way, it's it's an achievement I don't have yet, which is weird because I've shot them from across a screen before. And I've killed them with it, so I'm, try no, I'm trying to figure out how I haven't got that achievement yet. I don't want to do this. Spark so up the phase locket. Ah, the bomb. Don't trust that weird mechanic. All right, now we've got the, uh, the platforms you can ride around on. And make rainbows that you can also, for some reason, ride around on. Why did I do that? Okay. Drop it down. Use my fat ass. Let it rise up a bit again. And knock it back. Come on. Down we go. There we go. Gotta be careful about that mage over there. Cool. Want that gem? There we go. Ride it up. Yeah, like, this part here isn't actually that difficult once you figured out the mechanic of this thing and. Don't freak out when you realize that, oh, I can actually stand on the rainbow light that it's emitting. That's pretty cool. You can also use it to crush enemies. Now, 
I guess I didn't really need to use that. Oh well. Hey, stupid jump over here. There we go. And there should be some health. Yeah, health. There we go. Almost back at full again. That makes me happy. Alright, now this should be, yep, one of these dragon guys I can bounce off of. And this is a good way to get myself stupid ass killed. That's the Triple uh, Warrior Pawn guy, Wh whatever he is. That's where that one is for this level. So if you're not, if you don't need it, don't bother with it. If you really want to kill that guy and you just, you're sick of waiting for him to come back down to you, just wail on him with an anchor. You'll kill him no problem. You can actually get all three of them with that if you, for some reason, manage to miss killing the first two. I'm not sure how you got this far if you did that though. So who knows? I think this is where the dungeon item is. Yeah, this is the dungeon item. Oh, Another one of these fucking spike puzzles. And this we come to one of, I guess, the most useless dungeon item in my opinion, is the the warhorn. It does radial damage to enemies around you, which I think will trigger as soon as you jump back across. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Does that? I've never used this in the game. I, I'll just, I always just stick to a more defensive item like the, the phase locket or something. I, I don't find the need for the Warhorn. There's not too many opportunities where you're surrounded that like one or two other items won't do the job just as good or better. I don't know if I want to do this or not. I'll let you out first. kill all these guys with this. Because screw the coins, this just makes more sense. I don't need that much money compared to how much I need those guys dead. Because getting hit with a hammer there would really, really chat my ass. Alright. I have to bounce off these guys. Okay, good. I was going to be really choked if I missed that jump. Oh, uh, okay. This is, I think, the easiest spot in the entire game to get the anchor achievement for killing all three of them in one go. If you do that shot, you'll get them all. Yeah, okay, good. And I think we're nearly to the boss right now. There we go, going up. Going down. Going up. Gotta be close to the boss. That was fucking close. Don't wanna touch those spikes, because even from the sides, there's still instant death. Well, if you're ever uncertain, just make sure you get the phase locket at the ready for this. Just in case you miss a jump. Although, it's really not that difficult. It's just every time I'm around instant death spikes or pits, I my hands like to spaz out a little and make sure it's like, No, you're gonna fucking die! Wait till he runs by, and then go for it. And then, as always, I'm just fucking paranoid about this shit. I think the object here is to make sure you don't kill this thing before you need him. Nope. I missed. Come here. Damn, there's one up there. Okay. Come on. 
Okay, now we're good. I can I can I can kill all you fools, it doesn't even matter. Which means I'm gonna abuse the shit out of my phase locker for the rest of this. Cause I don't even care! And boss time. Just make sure I don't fuck up the last simple jump, and we're good. Hmm. <clears throat> so, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Hmm. <clears throat> the order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath. What happened to the proud warrior I knew? Hmph. <clears throat> no more words. The bitter cold will claim you. Hey, he's also a shovel knight. I call bullshit. Okay, so I can't just fuck those. Now, the big problem with this guy is you can't just abuse the down stab the whole time because he will eventually start trying to lift, bro. And when he does that, you can't hurt him with it anymore. Crap. As soon as he puts a shovel over his head like that, you cannot hurt him anymore with it. Oh god, I don't want to get killed by an a fucking spike. You know, I'll take the damage if it means... It means being able to hurt him some more. Thank you! That's what I wanted to fucking see, was that... And die. Sorry. Like, okay. Now, maybe someone out there can clarify this for me. These spikes right here that he creates, are they also instant death? Or are they just damaging? I've never been hit by them because I've always just assumed spikes, death. So if they're not instant death, that actually makes that fight much less stressful. But for me, it's one of the more harrowing ones because there's always that opportunity to just drop dead if you hit the ground. And if that's not accurate, then that that's great. But I feel like it is. Alright, get the treasure. And be on our way. Alright, and that's it for Polar Knight. Ah, there is the last mercenary right there. Alright, well, in the next episode, we'll be taking on that mercenary right there. And hitting up one of the last two uh, Knights of the Order of No Quarter. So in the meantime, as always, leave me a rate, a comment, and a subscribe, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on any of that stuff, as long as well as some more Shovel Knight. Spiral Sigil, out.